Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to graph an absolute value equation. Now, when graphing absolute value equations, the, the main important thing that we need to understand is what exactly are the transformations. So no matter what type of you know, transformations I have, I look at my transformations equations, like the parent graph of those, where the a times absolute value of x minus h you know, plus k, and I say, all right, what exactly do all of these mean again? And let me write out exactly what transformations are happening. You know, if you're reflecting over the x-axis, write reflection over the x-axis. If it's, you know, you're shifting two units to the right, write down shifting two units to the right. Write down all those transformations. Then the next thing is to identify the new vertex. Now remember, if we're not, there's no shift or left up. If you're not shifting left or right or up or down, then the vertex is going to remain where it was at for the parent graph, which is at 0, 0. However, if you have a horizontal translation and a vertical translation, then those are going to be your new items of your vertex, which is going to be h comma k. The next thing is to simply graph your function. Um, if you have just a graph and it, there's no a or there's no b, that means you're not, you don't have any um, compression or stretching going on, as well as reflections. So then just go ahead and graph the parent graph from where your new vertex is at. However, if you have a reflection, then obviously you're going to have to reflect over the x-axis and then graph it that way. But when you have an A or a B that's going to change the slopes of those two lines, the best thing to do is create a table. And what we're going to do is we're just going to choose two point, two or three points to the right of the vertex. All right? And it's very important not to choose points on both sides. Just We already know what the vertex is, right? And then just pick two, more, two or three more points to the right or to the left, whatever the points are going to be the easiest. So you choose those two points, and then what we use is apply the axis of symmetry. We know that the axis symmetry goes through the vertex. So basically, whatever you graph on one side, you can flip over the axis of symmetry and recreate those exact same points. So I plot three points you know, to the right or to the left, and then I flip them over the axis of symmetry. So then I finally get my V-shaped graph. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is kind of your step-by-step -step process for graphing absolute value equations. Thanks.